Whenegi, when I te Kiroto ito tati kupu kupu Maori, when I hanga nei te mata ranga to tati mata o tupuna ite hono te au wairu ki te au kiko kiko nei. Ko te hono nga te au ora ki te au kiko kiko, ai faka ori ori te hinengaro ki te tu he Maori, ki te tu he ranga tira, ki te tu mata. Hei hā pai ake te iro o te tangata ki te au wairua au e ti hei mau ki ora. And I think that's where the thing is so different, you know, from our way of thinking uh, to Western paradigm. But that whole Kauri dieback thing started in Ngāti Wai on the Great Barrier Island. And because there were just such ho so hōha sitting there with MPI, because we're meant to be partners, and yet they didn't discuss the allocation of money into scientific research. They didn't discuss it with us. They just told us that they did it. And nothing came of it, all of it. We just watched millions of dollars get spent on science research to find a remedy for that phytophora. So I got hua then. I came home and I rung Tohe up, asked them to come over and never talk to me. And I said to Tohe, Tohe, Ewa, in a hoki mahara to Matu Fakaro ki ngā kore roto tatu mātua tūpuna about Tane making the kauri tree. Like, and you can imagine, eh, you know, that the kauri tree is a stationary thing. And he must have got bordel on the way and he put some legs on one. See? So whenever he wanted to go and talk to the kauri tree, the kauri tree was always there where he put it. But the whale wasn't, hey, so he'd have to go looking for it. And he found that it'd like to either be in a river or something like that. So he thought to himself, well, hey, oh, he wants some water, I'll give you some water. And that's when he decided to gift that uh, tohora uh, to Tangaro. When Western scientists hear us talking like that, all they, all they focus on is the crushed whale bone and the oil. Whereas to us, we're saying that the rongo of Māori is more than that. That is just a door opener. I said it's about whakapapa. It's about mātauranga. It is about manākitanga. But most of all, it is about hōhaurongo. So I said to Tohe, what about if we try some ground-up whalebone mixed with spermaceti oil? and put it on there like a poultice. And so that's where that, that kaupapa came, uh, came from. So we've been trialling it for two years now and it's looking really good. Looking really good, and all of that for nothing. Mm. We are the kaichaki of the kiore. We have created the only rat refuge in the world, and that's Maui Taha Island. It took us 24 years to get that on. Yeah, my nickname was, was Doc, Rat Man. I said to him, te ki ore he rat e ki ore ke. Hey. Oh, what do you mean? I said, it's different to your rat. I said, yours is a rat. I said, for example, I said, a ki ore only lives for 12 months. Hey. And again, of course, when you have a look at, you know, Kyure didn't taha his way here like a blooming park here rat. He was brought here deliberately because he was part of the Kopapa. So Kyure was only on offshore islands by then. They can't survive on the mainland. They can't compete with park here rats and particularly with mice. And that is why, that's what makes one, why they only live for 12 months. It's the young ones, they can move faster. So bang, little ones are bang, got the kai and gone. Hey? So the old boys just sit there and they just look, hey. and then after a while they just walk around behind a tree or behind a rock and just sit there and die. When I got out of the army I went to Australia, and I was living in Australia uh, because I like operating machinery rather than just sitting around. You know you had tin, you had gold, you had, you had gemstone. So that's what I was doing, I was looking out that tin mine for these millionaires, and of course uh, we was up in the bush, up on this hill, in the bush, and rainforest, and there's been a long track, over 150 metres, track straight down the hill, that we used to drive up on. 
And of course, so I'm sitting there, set all the boys up, got them all started and working away there. And so our captains came in and sat down in our shed, you know, just watching it. And then my partner said, oh, there's somebody coming down on the track. And a little while later, oh, gee, it looks like a Māori queer with a mokopuna. And I, I didn't take any notes. Nah, there's no Māori queer with a mokopuna over here. And then after a while, when she only got back from here to your fellow's car, I looked, well, it was my old lady. It was my old lady with one of, her, with one of our, my nephews. He was only about three or four years old then. And of course, that's what she did. She came over to tell me the Crown was about to steal our whenua pato. And if that's important to you, boy, you get your bloody ass home. And that's what brought me home. 